Made in Germany just after the war, Caligari was conceived as a shocker. The decor was carried out in a style guaranteed to upset people. Expressionism, often mistaken for cubism. It was modern art, regarded by many as degenerate. The design was the idea of the art directors. Caligari is considered the first true horror film, for it told of a monster compelled by a mad doctor to murder innocent victims. Dr. Caligari, played by Werner Krauss, is a carnival showman who uses a sideshow to conceal his crimes. His somnambulist was played by Conrad Veidt. <laughs> Paul Lenny quickly became the leading director on the lot, and Carl Lemley revived plans to repeat the success of Hunchback with another drama of disfigurement, The Man Who Laughs. The production supervisor was Paul Kona. Like The Hunchback, it was based on a novel by Victor Hugo and it was to star Lon Chaney. From 17th century England, a sect is being expelled, for they mutilate children to sell as freaks. This boy, Gwynplaine, has had his mouth disfigured. At the last minute, Cheney withdrew. Gwynplaine, grown up, was played by Conrad Veidt. It fell to a makeup artist named Jack Pierce to replace Cheney's artistry. Part of his job was to give Veidt a death's head smile. Gwynplaine and a blind girl, Dea, Mary Philbin, travel in the caravan of Ursus, who watches as they fall in love. At the end of that film, when I first saw it, when I was, I think, six or seven, I was in tears, and I went to see it again a couple of years ago, and the darn thing works, huh? Because you are the person in need. You are the person in agony. You are the person with the permanent smile. Staged on a scale as lavish as Hunchback, with a dazzling command of the latest techniques, it was more sophisticated and ran into censorship troubles for its sexual boldness. In the late 20s, movies were becoming a scapegoat on both sides of the Atlantic for uh, civic groups and social reformers who were, were just convinced that movies were destroying morality and could incite, uh, you know, the youth of America and England to, uh, to acts of uh, violence and even murder. Paul Kona wanted to do Dracula with Conrad Veidt and Paul Lenny, but Veidt went back to Germany and wouldn't return until the period during the war when he made Casablanca and Paul Lenny died suddenly from blood poisoning in September 1929.